Hello again, everyone. I am back with yet another serious eye-opening and thought-provoking message. And the title, topic, or subject matter of this message is the Depopulation 101 Agenda. What's it all about? But before I get into this message, first things first, please address me using feminine pronouns because I'm a female. I'm a woman, okay? And secondly, if, you, if you're not a spiritual individual, don't listen to this message. If you think everything's a joke in a game and you don't realize the day we're living in, or recognize the times we're living times we're living in, then don't listen to this message. If you don't believe that there's a God, there's a devil, that there's a heaven, and that there's a hell, that we're living in the last days slash end times, then don't listen to this. Don't waste my time, don't waste your time, and don't waste God's time arguing, debating, fussing, fighting, and going back and forth because I don't have time for that. I, I've been sent to the household of faith. I'm not like other dumb, stupid, ignorant, naive Christians out here to try to debate with, you know, the tears because they're going to stay tears no matter what. And according to the, also according to the word of God, the things of righteousness and spiritual things of foolishness unto the wicked, okay? They're not going to make any sense, in other words, and you're not going to understand and comprehend it. So you just might as well move on and watch you know, some other myths by one of them popular YouTubers are all demons, by the way. But moving forward, what's this depopulation agenda thing all about? And somebody might say, well, said, well, the population is higher than ever. There can't be a depopulation agenda agenda, uh, you know, uh, a conspiracy or a plot, you know, depopulate the planet. But there's more to this than what you dumb, stupid, ignorant people out there think there is, okay? Because I had a dream about a few years back. I think it was three or four years ago. I think I, I think more than likely it was, I, I would say around May of 2019 and stuff, when, you know, I saw a dream, whereas, you know, I can't really describe the imagery in it, but it's just something that God communicated with me in a dream telepathically. And see, this is a crying shame because you're not going to hear this in church or anything because most of the churches out here are, you know, a part of the system and they're working for the New World Order gang. And so they're just there. they just been set up by Satan, you know, to push a bunch of lies and lead people astray. And somebody said, well, there's churches on every corner. And this is my subject, but I just like, I just thought I'd like to throw this in. And said, well, there's churches on every corner. But it's like my late pastor said, yeah, there's churches on every corner, but just about, but they're the devil's churches. But anyways, they're getting together a bribe for Satan, a bribe for the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, and the new world order, okay? And speaking of which, I had this dream, man, and God had, the Holy Spirit had laid, had laid on me that, in my mind, that put on my spirit that the new world order, Satan is trying to get rid of the earth of, of real humans, okay? And not humans, period, because most of them are not even real, as I've been emphasizing, you know, past audio messages and stuff. Most people on this earth are not even human, they don't have a soul. Because human beings are, you know, we're triune beings since we're, for those of us who create in the image of God, I'm going to just say, according to the word of God, uh, you know, the book of Genesis, the first chapter, you know, humans, God tells us that, you know, human beings are created in his image, okay? And so God is composed of three parts, like, you know, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And no, I don't believe in the Trinity, okay? I believe it. I just I do believe in the God here, though. It's basically God, like my late pastor said, manifested in three offices. Okay, me for example, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, and I'm an aunt. Okay, that doesn't make me that doesn't make me three people. This it just I just have three familial roles, or three you know family roles and stuff. Okay, it doesn't make me three people. So it's basically God operating in three different roles. Okay, it's one God, but he he has three ways. It's three different offices, okay? I'm going to just put it like that. Three different roles, okay? I mean, God the Father, I mean, this is basically the Logos or the Logos in Greek, okay, which is the soul of God. And then there's God in the flesh, which is Jesus Christ. And then there's the Holy Spirit. That's the thing that, you know, pushes God's people, you know, leads and guides, you know, us after we had a new birth and stuff. But anyways... You're not going to hear from most pulpits out here, the, the vast majority of human, uh, so-called people that are walking this earth are not even human. They don't have a soul, okay? They just have a physical body, and then there's just demons in there and stuff. And to be honest with you, like, Yahweh Rule's wife said back, you know, way back there, you know, when she was on YouTube, she said anybody that doesn't have a soul has no business walking this earth, okay? And what the truth of the matter is, like I've seen in, in the dream a few years back, just three years ago, that, you know, Satan is trying to rid the earth of real humans, particularly the righteous, okay? And to be honest with you, he is going to get his wish someday because, for starters, you know, God's people are going to be taken out. So, and I don't understand these people out here that believe in a mid and take a mid and post trib, you know, stance when it comes to, you know, the timing of the rapture. Some getting out here and saying that it doesn't matter or, 
others staunchly believe that it's going to happen mid or post, okay? I'm going to just break this down to you. I mean, since this isn't my subject, I'm going to just summarize it. Okay, the pre tree rapture is for the wise virgins or, you know, the bride, the body slash bride of Jesus Christ, those who had a new birth, okay? And, of course, you know, infants, they're real, of course. I'm going to just say unborn babies, infants, you know, toddlers and children below the age of accountability and, you know, severely retarded or disabled people that, you know, were never able to come to the knowledge of right and wrong, let alone, you know, how to find, you know, how to be saved or whatever, salvation. You know, the change of the soul and matters of salvation. Those are the ones that are going up in the rapture without new birth. But everybody else knows right or right from wrong. You know, they are the age of accountability. They got to be saved. And so if they're saved, that's the ones God going to take up when, it's, when this thing ends. And also all the animals in the world that are real. And by the way, animals have a soul, okay? This is my subject either. But I just thought I'd throw this in. Animals, you know, also have a soul, but it's a different kind of soul than, you know, humans, what humans have. And, of course, you know, I believe this was the, also the part that was taken out of the Bible, okay? They said that, you know, the, the flesh of humans and the flesh of animals are different, but, but what they also left out is the Bible. They also took out the Bible, Roman Catholic Church, by the way, and preachers naively believe, and I used to think this, but I always thought there was more to the story. But anyways, I always thought there was more to the story than what we've been told about this. Animals also, but what y'all don't know is animals can also have a soul, but it's different than ours, okay? It's like our flesh is different than ours. That's why, you know, cannibalism is a sin, but it's okay, you know, to have, you know, to eat animals and even certain kind of animals, you know, for meat or whatever. But you can't eat human meat even if you're starving. But anyways, it's still a sin. I don't care how, you know, desperate you get. So what I'm trying to say is the reason why the devil is trying to depopulate the planet is because when it comes to, you know, the whole... Antichrist, New World Order, Mark of the Beast type situation. Uh, he knows that, you know, if they're demons, then they'll take the Mark of the Beast without question because they're already doomed. And plus he knows that person that's created in the image of God, you know, they have a, a soul and a spirit and stuff inside of their body. They, they have a mind of their own, but however, uh, individual walking around here, you know, with demons that don't have a soul, that's a, soul that, a soulless individual. I don't call it individual because they're not really, they're not human, dot com, period, okay? Y'all shouldn't think of them as being human in any capacity. It's because they, they have a humanoid body, okay? They're walking around, and they look as real as you do. It doesn't make them human. You got to look on the inside. I mean, do they have a soul? Are they right with God, okay? Y'all just need to look past the spirit, past the, uh, the natural slash physical, and look at the supernatural slash spiritual, okay? Because I know there's a concentrated effort as of late, and of course... You know, I believe they're mocking us. You know, the Illuminati, the mainstream mass media is mocking us because they know a lot of us know the truth. I mean, we're awake to what's going on now. And if they can't get us to disbelieve and go back and believe in the lies, they're just, so they just kill two birds with one stone by trying to get us not only to turn on the truth, but, you know, they mock us for knowing the truth. But anyways, they try to get us as a concentrated effort as of late to get us to focus strictly on the, the uh, physical slash natural as opposed to the spiritual slash supernatural realm, okay? And they know their time is just about up. They're getting desperate. And the reason, and of course, this isn't exactly my subject for this for this message, but, you know, there, then there's the cloning situation. A number of years ago, I did a couple of videos about this stuff, okay? And the cloning situation is like Yahweh Rule said all those years ago. The reason why the devil does that is so he can get people sent to hell and, you know, implant, you know, even more soulless humans on the earth you know, without anybody noticing, because they know know that a vast majority of us don't know don't know what's going on with this thing. And for a while, to be honest with you, I, I didn't know that about this, but I can't say that I was totally ignorant because you know I, I've always suspected that you know humans were being replaced and stuff. But I just didn't know how it was come how it came about, and so I had to wait on God to give me a revelation of what's going on. And when He did, I realized that my suspicions were on point the whole time. Okay, you know. There was these individuals try to pull the wool over my eyes. I still, I still like when something isn't right. I'm gonna just be honest. My spirit's not gonna agree with it. It doesn't matter how many excuses they make, how many excuses are made, or how it's justified or whatever. I mean, it's just not gonna feel right, okay? Because you know, I have a seed of God in me. I'm a citizen of heaven. I belong to the Most High, and they, no matter how they try to get get me to overlook this stuff, I can't. I just can't do it, okay? The Holy Spirit is not going to allow it because God is a God of truth, okay? And it's important that we know the truth. Even though we don't know everything now, this is a progressive revelation, okay? 
and you know this depopulation agenda, Satan knows that he can control a clone or a soulless individual more than control a real person. Because a real person that has a soul and spirit still has a mind of their own. And, they're, and even the most evil, wicked person, there's lines they won't cross, okay? But, the, but a, a soulless individual out here, a clone, I mean, they'll do whatever whatever's asked to them. Whether it's, it's, it's through the demons that are in them, or some of them are just, they're not even biologically alive. They just have, you know, uh, they're, they're, I would say, uh, androids, cyborgs, robotoids, and animatronics. In other words, they look human on the outside. Of course, you know, the media is just going to lie, cover all this up and try to make all these, you know, the human robots they present to the public. You know, the ones they do tell us about look all fake and mannequin like. But the thing is, there's a, a category of human robots, though, that, you know, they look human on the outside for the most part. They look human on the outside. But if you were to dissect them and, you know, cut them open or whatever, you're just going to see nothing but you know, elect wires and electronics and mechanical parts in there, like you have in your electronics or, you know, your appliances at home. And so like your washing machine or whatever, or, you know, your computer or your printer or whatever, it's much like that. On the, on the outside, they look human, but on the inside, you know, it's just that there's no human parts. There's no organs or blood vessels or whatever. Why do you think, you know, and you see a lot of this in pornography, there's a lot of human robots in porn. I think they would stick, you know, huge objects up in that, up their back backside. They don't bleed, they don't feel pain, or they're not torn, or, or it doesn't do a whole lot of damage because their orifices are basically made of animal tissues and stuff. They're not human at all, okay? They don't have no shame about their nakedness. They don't, they don't care what's done to them. I mean, they're basically just human-shaped objects, okay? But anyways, the devil knows that, you know, all the demons, him and all the demons and the fallen angels... Satan, the demons, and the fallen angels, they're all doomed. So if they get rid of all the humans, then, you know, because Satan's desire has always been work to be worshipped, just like God, okay? Worshipped by the world. And so if it's a real human, there's lines they won't even cross. So if they make them fake and soulless, you know, by influencing them, seeing so, if they do abominable things, they don't want to get their name erased off the book of life. Not Lamb's book of life now. That's for the, the body slash bride of Jesus Christ. That's for the seed of God, for those that God chose to follow him. I'm talking about, I'm talking about those who just, you know, got their name written on the book of life. And that includes foolish virgins or tribu the tribulation saints and stuff. But uh, anyways, they know that there's lines that real humans won't cross. But on the other hand, they can control a demon. And, you know, saying the demons and fallen angels I was saying earlier, uh, know they're doomed. So they're going to take that mark without question. They, ain't gonna, they don't have to pressure them into it or anything like that. They're going to take it automatically. And of course, you know, they're going to try to resist it or whatever, but it's all for show. It's all for show to just, you know, influence real humans into taking it. And what y'all don't, your dummies don't know is when a real person takes the mark of the beast, of course, they ain't going to be in the minority. Even then, you know, during the tribulation period, it will be in the minority. When they, when they take the mark of the beast, you know, it's not fully understood or clearly understood what happens or comprehended what happens when a person takes the mark of the beast, a real person, by the way. What happens is I think their soul gets snatched immediately and they get taken to hell. Okay, so it's better to suffer. And of course, this isn't my subject, but I just like I thought I just thought I like to I just like to throw this in right quick. So it's better to suffer for three and a half years than to um uh, suffer three and a half years than to suffer for basically eternity for taking that mark, okay? Because when you take it, it's not going to be you. You're not going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's going to be a demon that's going to enjoy the fruits of your labor right then. Because right then and there, you're going to get cloned. You're going to be soulless, okay? But anyway, you, and you end up in hell, okay? But anyhow, as I was saying earlier about, you know, the three different raptures, I'm going to just sum it up. The pre tree rapture is for those who have had a new birth, the change of the soul and stuff. Those who are chosen to follow God. And of course, you know, unborn babies, infants. Uh, uh, toddlers and children below the age of accountability and severely retarded people, okay? That, you know, and th they're, that's the cat, and also all the animals that are real, they have a soul and a spirit inside a physical body, okay? All those individuals, the, the other individuals that, you know, don't know anything about sin, you know, because animals don't have a sin nature. That's why their soul is different from ours. That's why when they die, they just go to heaven. And yes, they have a relationship with God. Like, for example, if you're, if, you know, you're grieving the loss of a, a somebody or a pet, or if you're sick or, or if you're sad or depressed or whatever, God can just tell your dog, you know, if it's real, of course, God can just tell your dog to just go over there and comfort you or whatever. So uh, I just I just don't like, I just dislike the fact that pastors, you know, marginalize am animals and stuff and they claim they're following God. But the devil's crowd know, instinctively know that when their animals die, they go to heaven, okay? They got more sense then. So in a sense, worldly people, in a lot of ways, 
and myriad of ways, worldly people got more sense than, you know, these so-called professing Christians out here that, you know, go to church and claim they following God. But anyways, the, the pre-tribulation rapture applies to, you know, people that have had a new birth and, of course, you know, real animals and, you know, real uh, um, unborn babies, infants, toddlers, and children below the age of accountability, and also the severely retarded and never reached the age of accountability. You know, they was, yeah, they reached maturity physically in a sense. They reached maturity, they became adults or whatever, but, you know, they never, they never got past, you know, as far as their knowledge is concerned, they never got past the age of four or five or whatever. They never got past the age of accountability. The, the, the former is those that had a new birth. The latter category is those who, who haven't, you know, they were never able to come to the knowledge of salvation or whatever, so they automatically go to heaven when they die or when the rapture comes, they're going to be raptured out. But everything else is going to be left behind, Okay. The worship of the Antichrist will go through the hell of the tribulation, period. And, but anyways, the second category, the mystery of rapture, the, the foolish versions or tribulation saints go through that. Okay, because God got to purge them. Okay, because they haven't had a new birth, so they don't go. So they got to re resist the mark of the beast in order to make it in, and make it into heaven. Okay, either till they die or until the rapture takes place halfway through. But the third, the post tree of rapture, you know, that's of the Jews and stuff because God deals with them. And, you know, the Hebrew Israelites were people of color, by the way, because God, since God uses the tribulation to not only punish the wicked, but to turn back to Israel, they, they go after the rapture. I mean, after the, I'm sorry, after the tribulation period, you know, so God can burn the earth and renovate it and stuff so that they can be a new heaven and a new earth. Okay. So the devil is basically trying, because he, he knows that human beings is already trying to get rid of us, especially those of us that are godly and righteous and had a new birth, or at least got a seed of God, because, you know, there's people out there that's chosen to follow God, but they ain't yet into the kingdom, okay? They haven't come into the kingdom yet, okay? So the devil is trying to get rid of us, so because he wants a planet full of synthetic, you know, soulless beings, okay? And during the tribulation period, they're going to come out in their true form, well, for the most part, but anyways, if you're a real human being, Satan hates you and he wants you gone, okay? This is what this is all about. And this is, and this is why also why they they allow it. If they had their way, they would allow rapists and murderers and stuff to run the streets and just do whatever they want. And because that's why they get upset with you when you defend yourself when somebody's trying to attack you or break into your home or kill you because they want you dead, okay? They want real humans. It's all a part of... You know, the plan to read, read the planet of real humans. I mean, I'm not stupid, you know. I know what's going on. And that's why the devil, you know, tried everything he could, you know, to prevent me from being born. Because he knew that, you know, I will, I'll be privy. And God revealed this stuff to me. And I'll be privy of it. And, you know, I'll also tell, I'll also get the message out. And he didn't want that. Okay. But, you know, great thanks be to the praises and, and, and thanks and glory be to the most high. You know, I was able to, you know, come to the earth and do what needs to be done. Okay. And the devil didn't want that because he knows that he can control an individual that's dumb. He can't control somebody that's smart. But on the other hand, if if you're a dummy, he can control you. Okay, he can destroy you and take you to hell that much e and take your soul to hell that much easier. That's why they want us off this planet. Okay, because they because we're creating an image of God, and of course we all know that Satan and demons and the fallen angels hate God with a with a purple passion. Okay, so before I close this out, I would just suggest to y'all that. To whom it concern, who may make concern, because this isn't for everybody. Y'all just need to get, get saved, get born again, and get in God's full will for your life. 